earlier, earlier segment I use no plane of symmetry as uh, is done in the book. Okay, so uh, here we are. We're going to uh, we are in assembly design, and we're going to start splitting this split with uh, split is that saw segment uh, with that or, uh, that vertical plane, and uh, let me try it again. Okay, there we are, we're in assembly design. So we're going to split with the vertical plane. And then it says, which one of these do you want to be affected? I want all of them to be affected. Which side do I want to keep? I really don't care. So there we are. Okay. Very good. Uh, now we're going to uh, uh, save this. And we're going to go to Generative Structure Analysis. Once again, I'm going to make the size of the element for the shaft smaller. Maybe 0.2. Everything is linear because I don't want it to take too long. All right. And then you can look at the mesh if you want. So right-click Mesh. See that? Okay. Deactivate the mesh. Okay, so let's uh, apply the restraints. So the bottom of this is clamped, and that is clamped. Okay, very good. All right, and a force of 100 pound, not 200, 100 pound is applied here because the 200 in the first segment was on the entire stand but we have half of it and uh, so I changed it we here we have to apply a hundred pounds on that piece now in the book it says a thousand pounds but I decided not to use a thousand I used a 200 pound on that stand uh, but here because you're modeling half of it should put half of that uh, total force okay the next thing is to create connections uh, first component is the surface of the shaft second component I'm going to hide this and I'm going to use the uh, surface of this hole and I repeat it for the other side so I'm not going to go through the details again because the details are explained in the first segment I, I in the first segment I ran I show you why it, it uh, you know crashes and things like that but uh, you can watch that if you want anyway first segment is this second segment is the surface of the shaft which is in hiding, let's bring it here, right there. So the second second component is this. These are both contact, as in the first uh, video segment. So contact, uh, let me see now, both of these. I did not even rename them, but I did do it in the first segment. Uh, rename this, uh, sorry, uh, uh, right, contact, that's what I meant. Okay, now. Uh, then what I did is I said that in the first segment we uh, decided to we assume that the the periphery of that shaft is completely welded to the periphery of the hole on the outside. So we create a third connection. Let me hide this. For the first component, I select the surface. See that the the periphery of the shaft right there. And for the second component, the periphery of that. Let me bring this in the front. And hide the shaft so that I don't pick it by mistake. There, the periphery, peripheral the circular section of this. And this one, uh, saying that it's welded, glued, adhe adhesive is applied to it, etc., it means that it's fastened. This third one is fastened. There's a fastener sign that shows up here. The final thing that we have to do is. Uh, is uh, uh, symmetry, planes of symmetry. Let me bring this in the front. So uh, we have to put surface slider on the that portion on that little uh, rectangle on the top of the bearing there, on the bottom of the bearing, on the top of this bearing, the bottom of this bearing, and the 
cross section of the this is cross section of the of the shaft. Cross section means when you cut it in that sense. Uh, well, if I run it, it should work. Don't worry about the wording. Okay, uh, it did work. So look at the deflection right there, and you can animate it. This is the end that is uh, welded or fastened, and this end is sticking in and out as was doing, as what's happening in the other one. Now, wait a minute. Which end is? I think this is the end that's. Yeah, sorry. This is the end that's uh, uh, that is actually uh, uh, well, uh, fastened. This end is sticking in and out. Yeah, right. You can see that. This end is sticking in and out. The other end is not because the other end is the fastened one. Now, I'm going to stop here and uh, make the assumption that. The same thing is applied on the other side. In other words, the edge of the shaft and the edge of the pole are also glued together. Glued, fastened, tied together. Now, when you do that, then you have another plane of symmetry. So uh, let me save this first. Let me save this. Where's the save? Right there. Not save. Let's do the proper way. File, save management. Uh, where are we? This is uh, one plane of symmetry. Okay, so analysis, save as, same thing. Good. So, uh, because I want to make another cut, and uh, well, I suppose I can do it right here. Okay, so uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the cut right. Let me close this. And do another cut here. Okay, so uh, another cut with this plane. Uh, make sure that they're all affected. Which side do we want to pick? Pick. We want to pick the left side. Good. So if you have left side fastened, right side fastened, then the extra plane of symmetry is over here. Okay. So uh, we go to generative structure analysis. And let's change the size of uh, this fellow to point, uh, I don't know, point 0.2. Okay, you can look at the mesh. Right click mesh visualization over there. Deactivate the mesh. Okay, the bottom of this is clamped. This bottom is clamped. Okay. On that stand, on that stand, a force of uh, 50 pound is applied because on the entire circle it was 200. This is one quarter of it downward. Let's put our uh, surface sliders here. So this is surface slider. This is surface slider. That is surface slider, and that is a surface slider. Okay. And uh, we create our connections. So first, uh, there's a connection between the surface of the shaft. And for the second component, hide this, the surface of the hole. And this will be contact. And if the, the two ends are welded, so this end is also welded. So another connection between the edge of the bearing. And for the second component, Let's bring the shaft into the show mode. We hide the bearing and the circular edge of the shaft right there. All right. And uh, so the first one is fastened. Uh, sorry, the first one is contact because of the, the way we created the connection. So uh, let me see now. Where is the contact? There's the contact. That's the first one. And the second one is fastened right there. These edges tied together. And let me bring this in the front. Uh, I don't think I've forgotten anything, so let's run it and see what happens. No, that. 
that fill k and uh, look at the deformation there we are see these ends are uh, fastened together and let's animate it okay and you can look at the one which is stress distribution which I didn't do it in the other uh, in the other really video segment of the first one, but uh, anyway, right right there. Uh, these are actually uh, not bad. This is about 2400 psi for aluminum, maybe okay. But again, remember, assuming that you trust these numbers, because we did not do any mesh conversion study, and as I've said repeatedly, if you don't do mesh conversion study, you might as well tear up the report and throw it in in in, in garbage. In other words. Don't rely quantitatively on, uh, quantitatively on the numbers. All right, folks.